Alright, so welcome back to the Tony, and I think we should probably uh, research hydroponics, actually. Instead of, uh, trees, uh, instead of everything after, uh, mushroom, uh, so, so let's see now. Hydroponics, uh, where would you be? Ah, right here. Hmm. Yeah, hydroponics and then geothermal power. Uh, what should be, uh, hmm, right here. Alright, so that takes care of that. So if uh, somebody could get on cracking on that one, I, that'd be much appreciated. Hmm. What else do I need to do? I just have somebody haul in these logs uh, that are being uh, harvested for us, which would be nice. So let's uh, get you hauled in. And that takes care of that. And oh, insects meat. Uh, not refrigerated, spoils in 1.5 days. So let's see now. Oh, my clients don't even have the skills necessary to construct this, uh, item, so, hmm, let's see, who's our best, uh, builder? That would be, uh, Lainey here, so I think, uh, you two can, uh, and, uh, Matya and Toon can have the construction of, uh, job set to three, and Lainey can have it set to one. And I think I want you to also, uh, start, uh, grinding out those, uh, construction levels, uh, if you would please, so, funnel beds. And let's just build a crap ton of those. And hopefully that should, uh, level up her up to five at the bare, bare minimum. So, if you could please get cracking on that. Okay, so that's happening now. Okay, so, how far off? I'm fighting from level 5. Uh, pretty far off, actually. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess it is what it is. So, hmm. Right, so that was a thousand points, um, about. So, let's deconstruct the beds. Actually, uh, let's see. Which one's the best bed? And we're going to keep that and, uh, use it in another, uh, room. Oh, I guess, uh, normal is the best one. So, let's, um, uninstall you and deconstruct the rest. Hmm. So, if that new chief fungus uh, could hurry up and grow, please, that would be lovely. So, our colonists uh, don't starve. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the title of a game or something like that. Yeah. It is a title of a game. Don't starve. That's a separate game. Hmm. Let's see. Now, uh. I guess, uh, Matya can also haul as top priority. And get some stuff in the, um, power generator. With our wood fire generator. It'd be nice if we had, uh, the ability to construct a cooler. Or an over-the-wall cooler. So I can, uh, turn this into a freezer for our food. Our very, very limited supply of food. So, let's see. Now, Matya, uh, when you wake up, uh, refuel that, please. And, let's see now. Alright, uh, we've got plenty of wood, so let's, uh, do the bed grind again. So, get this hauled in as well, and put as many beds as we can in order to level up our construction, uh, worker to level 5. And just do it like so. Hmm. Yep, uh, that should do it. Hopefully, knock on wood. Okay, so yeah. And speaking of which, uh, if you've enjoyed the video so far, uh, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of shenanigans from me, and I guess, uh, yeah, there's that. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, who are you, Lainley? Uh, you're still construction level 5, and rapidly, um, Level 4, I mean. And rapidly approaching level 5, so that's good. Hmm. I think I need to go hunt some more animals. Oh, so. And how come you haven't been, well, uh, slaughtered for food yet? Who's been sleeping on that? Who's our animal handler? Oh, it's Matya. You didn't have that as top priority. And let's see now. Let's go hunting. For some food, because, uh, yeah, we're running low on food, if you haven't, uh, noticed. Camp snail, uh... 
engineered much like the surface dwelling boomalo, so these are the cave dwelling uh, variants. Mm, yep, uh, basically cave dwelling uh, boomalopes. So that's nice to know. So let's see now. Hmm, bioluminant bat, 75%, so definitely don't hunt those. Uh, giant snails, uh, hmm. Oh. It's a pack animal. How much meat do we get per harvest? Uh, hmm. 364. I think we're gonna be able to hunt a couple of those. And hopefully be fed until the Nutrifungus is, uh, grown. Because, uh, yeah, it's about ready to, uh, be fully grown. So our colonists, uh, don't starve. And that'd be nice. Because, uh, yeah, I'm aware of the low, uh, food. Hmm, maybe I should make the Nutrifungus room a bit better. Although I don't know where we can expand it to. Or maybe just build a second one, uh, over here. Yeah, I think that might be the, uh, play is just build a second Nutrifungus room over here. But hey, the first harvest is coming in, so that's good. And we should have plenty of food, uh, now. That the first harvest is coming in. Hmm. But I think we should still build that second room, just in case. So, let's, uh, put it, uh, over here. And till in, like so. And this is how bad the room is gonna be. And that should be our secondary Nutrifunders farm. And then we can have plenty of food. And Toon is hiding in his, in his room, so that's, uh, fine. Uh, where are you, Toon? Oh. In your room. That made sense. So, we'll have fun doing that for the next little bit. And let's see now. Lately, you are still not level, uh, 5, which is what I need. Hmm. Let's see now. Uh, lately, you know how I told you to build all those beds? You're gonna destroy them now. And, let's see now. Right here, uh, goofing off right now. I, I guess that's fine. Do you actually get construction that speed from destroying things? Yes, you do, so... That's also another source. It's just destroying stuff. Deliberately, I think. Right, so that's all the beds, and I should need uh, a few more beds just to reach level 5, because we're currently at uh, 4,805 out of uh, 5,000 needed. Hmm. So, I guess uh, you're going back to building beds right now, mainly. So, I guess you can do that uh, whenever it suits you. And now we're in level 5 construction, so that's good. And destroy those beds because... We don't actually need them. So, let's see now. Right, okay. Oh, the pork has rotted. That's not good. And the uh, wood fire generator is now full of fuel. So, let's get the over-the-wall uh, cooler installed. Hmm. Why does there need to be a bridge on uh, this? That's what I can't figure out. Hmm, oh well. Just deal with it anyways. Right, so that's the bridge. And I guess they're asleep. And now it's built, so let's uh set you down to 80 to 2 degrees Fahrenheit. That should be enough to freeze the food. And just uh run a power wire out to it. Uh pretty much uh like so. Hmm. Yeah, that should do it. And I guess if our builder can have fun building that wire. And now Matya is hiding in uh, their room, so I guess that's fine. As long as they actually hide in their room. And let's see, you, uh, yep, uh, you're going to your room. Where you're supposed to be. So that's good. Well, uh, we've had our uh, first social fight between Lainey and Coon. And Toon had his, uh, right metal finger destroyed. That can't have been pleasant. And lately, uh, well, kind of beat the crap out of Toon for some reason. And I don't know why. 
Hmm, what's up? Oh. Tutor Bear lately son to Bandit, and she uh, decided that uh, Tutor had to get punched in the face, apparently, for that one. Hmm. Oh. You might be. Hmm. You know, let's, uh, not have a kid yet, because I don't think the colony can support one just yet. Also, why hasn't the Nutri Partners been brought it? That's on Home Plus, so, uh, that's kind of rather important to bring in so it just doesn't spoil. Oh, well, I guess I'll, uh, manage that sometimes. Anyhow, we're just building out a mini kitchen, uh, right here. So, somebody can cut the food. Okay, so, let's see now. Let's just build the wall, like so. And, let's put it in the electric stove. Uh... Right here, actually. And wire it up uh, to the grid. And somebody needs to go and uh, actually put some uh, fuel in the uh, generator. Yeah, this is why I don't like uh, using the um, wood fire or the uh, chem uh, fuel generators because sometimes the colonists just doesn't do it. And I pro should probably research the battery. Just so we'd have uh, something of a safety net. And here's the phosphoric lights, and yep. I guess this is a mood boost uh, event, so tune. Oh, death in three hours. That's not good. Who's our doctor? Oh, it's you. Lainly, you just nearly killed our doctor. That's not cool. Right, so now you're being healed up and you should be fine. Might yeah, go back to what you were doing. Hopefully you can recover in time, cause uh, that was scary. And uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the ways you can just lose a tallness, is social fights. Hmm. Oh boy, another raid. And we got some trainers in here, so hopefully the trainers can take care of the raider for us and services, uh, yes. Yes, they can. And we get some free food. And let's take the, uh, not take the slug egg. And the funny thing is that the funnel wood doesn't count as wood for the fuel generator, so that was useless. Thanks, the mod. Hmm. So I hope we can get the, uh, geothermal power soon. Because that would be lovely. Just so we can have some, uh, way of making power. It isn't reliant on, uh, Wood, because, uh, yeah, that's also an issue. Hmm, I'm surprised the uh, wood fire generator doesn't just have the funnel wood as a uh, fuel, or rather the mushroom log. I mean, it should count as a wood. Hmm, maybe we need to start growing the uh, wooden substance uh, thingy that you can grow in uh, biotech, I think. Yeah, I think it was biotech. And hey, Toon's back on his feet now, so that's good. Hmm. Let's see, now. Right, what was it actually? Uh. Uh. Not Nunchi Fungus, but, uh. Fiber Corn. And what do you need for, uh, light? Hmm. Going times since days, max HPs, 85, uh, light requirement, uh, 30%. I can't do that. Oh boy, this is me realizing I'm kind of Well, this colony is probably not long for this world. Oh well, I guess I'll keep this colony going as long as I can, realistically speaking. Kind of thoughts that the, um, uh, Mushroom lawns don't count as uh, fuel for the uh, wood fire generator. So, Mana Arthur, if you happen to uh, watch this, well, I found a bug for you to fix. Hmm. Oh boy, Manhunter Pack. I probably should have walled off uh, the colony by this point. Oh well. And I guess now I'm gonna pay for that one. Oh well. Let's uh, get the colonists uh, up and ready and deal with the Manhunter Pack. And it's just, uh, two table lemmings, which are basically giant rabbits, so... Who knows, maybe this will be, uh, free food for us. Oh boy, lately, uh, I guess this would be karma for you, uh, destroying, uh, Toon's finger. 
And there's the first one down, and... Oh, dear. And the other one is done. So that takes care of that. So, let's see. Now, starting up... Oh, this is to prevent you from just, uh, taking the food from the... Manhunter pass. And finish that off, please. You two can go back to what you, whatever you were doing. And Toon, uh, you go back to whatever you're doing. Okay, so let's see now. Right, so now we're wor working on the geothermal power. We probably should have been working on that from the start. Oh, well, that's my bad. Hmm. Speaking of which, uh, we should probably wall off the uh, colony with a slate. And I guess we can make it, uh, something like this for the first wall. And something like this for the second wall. And, yeah, that can take care of that. And let's put some doors in there. Just so the, uh, critters can have some way of getting in from that side. Or maybe I should just leave them out to dry. Hmm. Let's actually make some tunnels with a few doors in them like so. And just make it a pain in the butt to, for the, uh, tunnelers to get through. Like so. And, let's see now. And that should be the tunnel taken care of. And, yeah, we should probably put down the, uh, extra farmland. Now, if only somebody can get cracking on, uh, turning out these slate chunks. That'd be lovely. And Lily is back on her feet. So, that's also good. Hmm. And it, is, and it is now day 21. And mushroom laws do not count as fuel for the field stove. That's also an issue. Hmm. Maybe I should report it as a bug to the, uh, mod author. Hmm. And just, uh, send them the link to this video. Yeah, that might be the play here. Or something like that. Hmm. What are you down here? Oh, green shells deteriorating. Uh, how much are you worth? Four silver. So, yeah, it's a strong green, uh, what is that word is? Shell. And it's from Biome's Tor. Alright, so that's enough, uh, looking at that. Uh, okay, so, let's see now, what else to do? I guess wait for this to be built. Hmm. Alright, so we've had our first, uh, mad animal incident, and it's, um, uh, right here. So, all of you, uh, get down here and kill it, please. Right, except for, uh, you, uh, Mon yeah, you stay in the room. Because, uh, you're not a concern right now. It's, uh, these two other, uh, colonists that are. I really need to re work on recruiting more colonists, and the mad animal is dead. And that takes care of that. You can go back to whatever you're doing. And, yep, uh, we're experiencing the second harvest of Nutripunders, so that's good. So that means more food for the colony. And we should be self-sufficient on food now, so, yeah. Hmm. And Lily is now getting to work on building some more, uh, bundle gravel so I can grow more Nutripunders. And hopefully support a better, uh, population. And hopefully two here can finish up, uh, research on that, uh, geothermal, uh, generator, which would be nice, which means that we would have power for the colony that isn't uh, reliant on uh, a resource that we don't have. Because, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of surprised that the mushroom lawn doesn't count as uh, fuel for the wood fire generator or the fuel gen uh, stove. So let's just deconstruct you because uh, that's kind of pointless uh, having around because it does literally nothing for the colony. It's just waste resources. And ooh, hey, a uh, feral child has wandered in, and it's on... Wait, how did you get past the... Oh, you probably had a... A hole in the, uh, room, and... Matya is on a tantrum, and... Destroy large slate, uh... Destroy slate large sculpture, excellent, and I don't really care. Too much because, uh, money I can just, uh, rebuild that one. And have fun doing that. Oh well. It wasn't really relevant to the colony anyways in the grand scheme of things. Well, Lainley and Monty are finally getting married and Tuna is the only other one attending, which is a surprise considering, uh, 
his relationship uh, with, uh, plainly. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny. Plainly, uh, as Edward as a rival, well, Edward views her as a friend. Make that make sense, please? I wonder how that's possible. Hmm. I should, shouldn't probably think uh, too hard on that one. Oh well. And now they're uh, both sleeping together. Which is why I built that double bed. Last episode. So that's good to see uh, that being used. And we've just got another bed that uh, we don't need right now. Unless we get a new colonist uh, soon. Hmm. And now Lily has food poisoning from raw fungus. Lovely. Oh well, I guess it is what it is right now, and we can't really do anything about it because we don't have power for the colony, so, uh, will somebody please hurry up and research geothermal power? And yeah, I think that might be Toon's job. It is Toon's job to, uh, do that one. Oh boy, there's a mad truffle mole on the loose, so... All colonists, uh, report to, uh, defend the colony. And I really need to wall off the colony, um, more, which, uh, should be pretty easy to do. If I just, uh, wall these, uh, bits off. And this a little bit. Hmm. Alright, so you're going in the other way, and... I guess, uh, when you get here... Well, can he open fire? Yeah, you missed all three shots. So... That's a thing that can also happen. But it just has to be expected when you're fighting in a very dark place. And that's shooting level 5, so congratulations to whoever made that one. Actually, just, um, uh, attacked it with your weapons. And that takes care of that. So, Toon and, uh, Matya are injured. So, let's see now. How badly are you injured? Oh, no immediate danger. Scratch. Torso and left leg for Matya. Toon is, um, left arm has a bite. So, you can self-tend. In fact, let's, uh, make all of the colonists, uh, self-tend. Even if they're not assigned. So, let's see now. Toon. Prioritize sending to Toon, please. And, uh, tracking on that, please. Alright, so that's, uh, being taken care of, and, yeah. It's currently day 32. We still have no geothermal power generator. And I guess this video won't end until we get that researched. And, ooh, hey, solar flare! But, uh, I don't think that matters, uh, that much to this colony. And we are almost, uh, finished up with the, uh, geothermal power. Which is good for us, because we can finally have a freezer. Which, uh, should mean we can keep, uh, food for the long term. And finally have some way of cooking that food, uh, speaking of which. Hmm. So, let's just destroy the fuel stove and then put the, uh, electric stove back. In its place. Hmm, how close are you to researching that, uh, geothermal power generator? Okay, so far it is almost done. It's been almost done for the, uh, past, uh, little bit. Hmm, maybe I should have two researchers. Maybe when we start expanding the colonist, uh, population, then we can start, uh, having two researchers. And hey, there's a geothermal power generator that is now researched. So, geothermal generator, build you. Construction level of 8, needed. Do you actually have that? Yes, we do, conveniently enough. So, lately, get cracking on that, please. It's been, uh, long enough without the power for the colony. And, hmm. Let's see now. And hey, maybe we can also uh, replace these, uh, doors with auto doors. That would be also be something else. Hmm, let's see, what else do we need to research? Do we even have the auditors research? No, we don't. Okay, so let's, uh, research you. Hmm. I think the fertility procedures are, is gonna lead into cloning. Because that's what it sounds like to me. And let's also research batteries, though. And, uh, hmm, what else do I need to research? Oh yeah, I finished researching the trees. And the mushroom mastery. And that can be that. And here comes the geothermal generator. And that takes care of that. Now we have power. So that's good news for the colony because we can now take the food. 
So who's our chef? Okay, that's Mania. And you are asleep. So please get cracking on cooking food for the whole colony. And I brought somewhere uh, to store that, so that's also good because, uh, yeah, I just made it this little um, cooking area. It's attached to the storage area, so that can be easily done. So the chef doesn't have to go between the doesn't have to go very far between the kitchen and the um, freezer, which is uh, also the general storage. So yeah. Anyways, I guess uh, that's the video. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of shenanigans from me. And I guess uh, if you want to support the channel, there's a link to my Ko-Fi in the description below where you can uh, do your name on the credit stream if uh, you want to do that. And yeah. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.